Hello and welcome to Community Chats. I'm your host Ali Hammer and today we're joined with Gary Butcher from the Platforms Manager at Mondo Australia. Gary, we're so excited to have you on the show today. Can you start by telling us a little bit about Mondo? Yeah, hi Ali, thanks for having me. So Mondo is the un unregulated arm of Osnet Services. Osnet Services is a transmission distribution and gas business here in Victoria and Australia. Um, Mondo does a range of things. Um, we focus on connecting solar and wind farms to the transmission network. We provide metering solutions for businesses. We provide gas testing services. Uh, we explore how electric vehicles and hydrogen can be integrated into the grid. Uh, we also help businesses maximise the benefits of solar and battery by helping them install and manage systems and provide cheap energy to them. And we also provide community um, renewable energy um, projects where we help communities achieve their renewable outcomes uh, by increasing um, the number of solar and battery systems in their communities um, and deliver services like microgrids and virtual power plants. Well, sustainability is incredibly important. So it's really exciting to hear about how Mondo is helping us move to a more sustainable future. And so for this purpose, you guys have recently developed an IoT and energy management device called Ubi. So can you tell us a little bit about Ubi and why you saw a need to put the power literally back in the hands of your customers? Yeah, so Ubi is an IoT device that we built that really is designed to help more people take advantage of, of solar and battery systems and connect to the network. So Ubi is a device that connects to a solar and battery system um, the meter and, and other devices in a home or a business. And it, connect, it collects a whole bunch of data around all the energy flows that are happening. So it monitors um, what's the generation, uh, the state of charge of a battery, how much energy is being used um, at the site at a whole, and how much energy is being used by large consuming devices. And it provides, pumps that data up into our cloud platform uh, in real time to allow customers to monitor what's happening right now so that they can change their behavior to minimize their energy costs and maximize their en uh, renewable energy usage. It also provides historical data views to customers so that they can confirm that their systems are operating as expected and that they're, um, they understand better how all of their energy consumption and generation and how, um, how their behavior is impacting their, um, their, their renewable um, targets and their, and their, and their costs. Um, Ubi is really designed around also optimizing the whole system for the benefit of the customer. So it's designed to um, turn things on and off and control their systems to minimize their energy costs. Um, it provides, allows them to access external markets where they can monetize um, the energy stored in their battery. And it helps them achieve energy reliability by orchestrating the battery um, to make sure that it's available at times when they, they most um, need energy reliability. Well, I recently got solar myself, so I do understand how useful it is to track your energy usage. And Ubi's very easy to use platform is a really great initiative for users to use. So thanks for sharing. So Gary, what role do you think that Ubi will play in the rapidly changing needs of the grid? Mondo wants everyone to be able to connect solar and to be able to export their excess energy to the network. The, the trouble is, as more and more people connect, we get high voltage issues during the solar peak of the day. Ubi's designed to help minimize the voltage issues by being able to dial down solar systems at times when the voltage is high. And so that ultimately allows more people to connect. It creates, um, it allows more people to install solar and it ultimately leads to higher penetration of solar across the communities and businesses. So Ubi's role in the new energy marketplace is to minimize voltage issues by dialing down at times when voltages are high, but also allowing customers to access new energy markets that are evolving, to be able to sell their excess energy at times when prices are really high and they get paid a premium. It really does sound like Ubi will change the way that we use energy in the future. And given that Mondo do a lot of really cool things on the AWS platform, what would you say is the biggest benefit of AWS to Mondo? The AWS platform is fantastic for us because it really allows our team to focus on 
developing the really smart algorithms and capabilities that Ubi has and not have to worry about the backend infrastructure and the core platforms that we have to build these solutions on. Um, so it really allows our team to focus on what they're good at. The, the IoT platform um, also allows us to um, securely deliver these services, leveraging the IoT security um, capabilities within AWS. And it, it meant we didn't have to build the plumbing for this platform to get going. So it helped us get to market faster. It's really great to hear how AWS is supporting the growth of your business. And finally, customer obsession is really important to us here at AWS. So can you tell us a little bit about what customer obsession means to you at Mondo? Customers are front and mind on everything we do at Mondo. So everything we develop, we put um, the customer first. So our solutions has to deliver value to customers. It has to solve problems that customers um, perceive as problems. And we have to basically make sure that our solutions are embraced by our customers, valued by our customers, and ultimately are solutions that um, our customers uh, really need and want. Gary, it's been such a pleasure to have you on the show today. So thank you so much for joining us. And to all our viewers at home, we'll see you next time.